It's not exactly a fairground ride, not exactly a must for its thrills and spills. This ride on machine reaches a rather unexciting four miles an hour, but that's enough to shock the teenagers who try it out, because this is a seatbelt sled. Was it worse than you thought it would be? Yeah, it was. It was really painful. It really, like, really wins you. It takes, really hurts. Is this something you're going to remember in your driving? Yes, it is. Yeah, really be aware of this and definitely wear a seatbelt. <laughs> Only four miles an hour, are you surprised? Oh, wow. yeah, that's really surprising. Especially when you see it on the TV, it doesn't look at all like that when you're going faster. And you're a driver, you're learning I'm to I'm learning, be? Yeah. yeah. Will that make any difference to the way you drive? Yeah, <laughs> most definitely. This device is a portable wake-up call to show the impact of not wearing a seatbelt while driving. An impact which, even at four miles an hour, is startling. We use the seatbelt sled uh, when we do events, initiatives. Um, it's a way of being able to educate young people and older people um, just about the importance of wearing a seatbelt, as you'll see in the film. You wouldn't believe what a sudden impact like this, even at just four miles an hour, can have on a driver and passengers. Now imagine multiplying that seven times up to 28 miles an hour, and I think you're beginning to get the picture. A man was coming down a road, a slippery road, um, with a couple of bends in, and unfortunately, due to a bit of speed, he did lose control on the bends and he did go straight into a tree that was on the side of the road. Um, he didn't or wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Unfortunately, he did get thrown clear and unfortunately, as I say, he did perish. There's still an awful lot of people out there who haven't got the message about wearing seatbelts and we're regularly encountering those people and we deal with them for the offence of not wearing it because it is an offence. The penalty at the moment is £60. If the accident's not your fault and you've sustained the injuries, it, it, doesn't, really, it doesn't really matter. You've still got injuries and you, you can't claim compensation for the injuries you've seen for not wearing a seatbelt. Why the goggles? Well, wearing them helps to simulate what a driver, influenced by drink or drugs, actually sees. And they show just how little you can really do when you're impaired. Now, you're stone cold sober, but you're wandering all over the place. It's, uh, it's really weird. It feels like my head's in a different place to where my feet are. What you're actually seeing is what it's like to be three times over the limit. Would you have realised it felt like that? I never really thought it would be this bad. It's, uh, just trying to walk down. It's going to be really hard doing anything if you're this drunk at all. Three, two, one. Every year in Britain, more than a thousand 17 to 25 year olds are killed on the roads. That's the equivalent of three jumbo jets, and over three times as many are left with serious injuries as the result of a road accident. Taking the seatbelt sled round the schools and colleges of West Sussex is proving a highly effective way to reach those who simply don't believe the facts. So for anyone who thinks seat belts don't matter at slow speeds, one taste of the sled will bring you up with a jolt.